Good morning and welcome to Wake Up With Jay. Our topic for today, oh I'm sorry, today's date is July the 8th, 2010. Our topic for today, I'm so excited about getting into it, is do you believe in what you market? Yes, I'll say it again. Do you believe in what you market? But let's start out with, first of all with Jay's quote for today. Give you a few minutes to think about that one. Okay, To accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream. Not only plan, but also believe. That's by Anatola Franz. Okay? So, Jay's thoughts for today. I'm going to ask you the same question all over again. Do you believe in what you market. Just ask yourself this question, okay? Do I believe in what I'm marketing or am I only in it for the money? Um, I would say that 90% of the people that are representing companies on the internet got in it for the money potential. And to me, this has something to do with that 97% failure ratio that you find out there on the near, on the internet. So folks, just bear with me for example. I want to use me as an example. I always, in anything I do, I use myself for an example. Now, I'm, I'm not bragging, I'm just telling you how it is because anyone that knows me knows that I'm a very humble person. I've spent over the last 30 years in the life insurance industry. Uh, why? <laughs> And the reason I say why is because normally to even be in the industry, you have to be in it at least two years to really say that you're in it. Okay, uh, in that period of time, my uh, income has always been a minimum, uh, yeah, minimum in the six-figure income bracket a year. Okay, uh, it has caused me uh, to go to such places as um, Israel which to me is one of the, the, the top tours I've, I've ever had in my life. Uh, I've had several uh, Caribbean cruises. Uh, I Yes, I've been to the Eiffel Tower. I've seen Big Ben in London. Okay, I've been in Wimbledon Stadium, believe it or not. Okay, um, so what I'm trying to say is that I've done a lot of things, you know, luxury cars. I've been blessed to have done all of that. And yes, I believe it came because of my belief in my industry. Now, personally, I own a half a million uh, uh, dollar policy. When I look back at my age now, I wish I would have made it a million dollar policy. Because then, instead of sitting here and telling you about six figures, I'd be sitting here telling you about seven figures. Okay? So now do you see why I'm telling you that, that uh, your success level with whatever company that you're with is going to come from your belief level. Um, what do I mean by that? Number one, how did you pick the business that you're in? Okay, uh, was it the money? Uh, was it friends influence? Was it <laughs> was it even the fancy websites that you see now? Because believe me, there are some beautiful, awesome websites to attract your attention. Okay, was it that? Okay. Uh, was it the hype of being under what's called a so-called guru? Okay, uh, someone that's uh, uh, making a lot of money from selling themselves. Okay, these are important questions you have to ask yourself. Okay, why is it that you're in the business that you're in? Do you really believe in it, or did you get in for the money potential? Let me give an example. Let's take this business out there with the gold coins. Everybody knows about it, okay? Uh, even, uh, I'm not going to say the name because I'm not going to advertise for it, okay? Um, would you really go out and, and buy gold coins if there wasn't the potential of making the kind of money that they're paying you to distribute those gold coins or to be a distributor for those gold coins? Would you? I mean, would you really have a hundred dollars worth of gold coins coming to your mailbox every month if it was just an investment? Is your belief that strong in it? Or let's take uh, Manavi or uh, Tahitian Danone or Exango. As we all know, these are all juices. I'm not picking on any one of them. Okay. In fact, I used to be a Manavi representative. All right. Now. <laughs> 
The question is, would you really, would you really go out and pay forty or fifty dollars a bottle to drink these juices if you weren't making or had the potential of making big money from it? Okay? Alright? Think about that a second. Because I truly believe in my heart that your success, and I don't care whatever business you've been, whatever one you've chosen, okay, is going to come from your belief factor. Uh, I'm going to give a good example of one that, that uh, uh, we all know about, which is Amway. Now, Amway has set their self up that any product, you know, or there's so many products, that there's something there that you have to believe in, that you possibly use. Okay, man, when I first got into Amway, this was back in the, oh, oh Lord, 70s, 80s, um, I was using their products. Okay, until my wife said, why are you paying that much for that product and I can get the same product at the grocery store for this amount? Okay, uh, but, but, but I'm making money. Alright, and so it's very important if you're going to be successful that you have to believe in the product that you're marketing. If you're not, then you need to go back and do your homework. Okay, otherwise you're just paying a monthly fee to that company and you're not going anywhere. You're just spinning your butts. Okay? Have it made sense to you? Alright. Hopefully I've been of some help. At least you sit down after you look at this video and you start thinking about your success. And your success is going to come from your belief level in the business that you're in. And if your belief level is not where it needs to be, then you need to look for another business. Okay? that's important don't just give folks money unless you truly truly believe in your heart and you would use those products even if you were getting paid make sense all right that's my lesson for today uh, I'm gonna end this one like I always do and say please please go out and bless someone uh, if nothing else with the knowledge I've just given you today about your success I hope it's been a blessing to you. Uh, when you're blessing those folks out there, of course, always tell them who sent you. All right? Yep, Jay sent you. You have an awesome day. I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. God bless.